Right? You don't. Uh, you have to be very sober to hand you know, to, yeah. to being crawled if you're, if you're shaking. Um, so what's interesting about McAfee that uh, at a, as a um, you know, enterprise uh, vendor here um, is everything is uh, centered around e policy orchestrator. Right? This is our central management console where you um, where you define enterprise policies and uh, where um, where you distribute your, your policies into your network. Right? This is, you know, for 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 an enterprise, this is very important that. Um, you know, your whole security, uh, which is not only AV, um, if you see, this is AV, this is a small part uh, we, we are known for, where our whole customer base is. But um, we do much more than just a, a, AV. We have a, we have a firewall, we have a encryption. Um, we have a encrypted USB, we have device control. We, we can monitor what USB ports can work with uh, what devices in, in, in which way. Uh, we go further into um, vulnerability managing. Uh, what are my vulnerabilities in my uh, in my company? Uh, just let me just finish it for 10 seconds, and then I'm done. Um, it, it always goes down to uh, stateful in inspection firewall. So you know, this is from a uh, security standpoint. This is really the the whole nine yards. What um, um, general an, an enterprise um, needs to um, you know to to cover when it comes to to enterprise security. Um, that was a long sub-sentence, but everything uh, you see here is just managed by one console and one by one agent. So let's say I have a, I have a company with a thousand uh, uh, nodes. Yeah? I have an um, AV a desktop department, I have a server department. Uh, I might have someone uh, is t in charge of um, um, data security. right? Um, I might have someone who is in, in charge or who is um, covering um, vulnerabilities. Um, and someone who might be even the CFO of a company, the chief financial officer, uh, he's interested in um, what is my compliance. Uh, is my whole software, is my whole network, is my whole security policy compliant with set or certain standards? I mean, the most interesting word if it comes to compliance is what well, I mean there's one big uh, compliant policy that everyone has heard of uh, <laughs> is it safe no it sucks it's seven X Oxley and, you know it's, uh, it's some some com you know, compliant rule that resulted out of um, out of the whole Enron uh, disaster Oh yeah, Enron was a big, yeah. you know, multinational, um, uh, well, yeah, really multinational company. They were involved in a lot of things. With uh, you know, a couple of hundred thousand employees got bankrupt, uh, uh, you know, from one day to the other. So right now, um, you know, a lot of uh, you know, focus is, is put on the, that the company is compliant. That is, it means compliance is, you know. Um, uh, running by by rules, running by laws, uh, okay. And this is something you know, a, a, you know, an enterprise is very interesting. In. So if you if you are dealing with all these little things, uh, until now you have a lot of different vendors. Yeah, you have McAfee ma maybe for AV. You have Ujimaku for disk encryption. Um, you have Tipping Point maybe at the gateway. Um, you have uh, for spam. You have Symantec. So and all of a sudden you can say, hey, listen, you know, we consolidate everything into one console, one vendor. So you support also this hardware on your system. Yeah. And, and this is just in, in, in general uh, why McAfee uh, is, is different from, from, you know, the guys across the, um, the gangway. Um, yeah, it has much more to offer than Kaspersky um, or even a Symantec. Although Symantec is, is trying to, um, to cover a lot of stuff as well. They are, not only security, but they made a decision to do um, 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 yeah, backup management software for, for backup management. They purchased Veritas, and this is uh, another standpoint Symantec can offer. Um, and this is important these days. You have to you have to provide a customer with a bigger picture, not just single AV. So they can order whole packets from you.
from it's, networking and it's just the same the when you have you're from from Finland I mean uh, from Scandinavia I'm just saying yeah, there's a lot of automotive industry in Scandinavia yeah. well let's say Nokia right yeah. uh, if Nokia uh, manufactures cell phones um, there's one thing a, a Nokia chief production officer uh, has on his agenda today is limit uh, the number of of uh, suppliers he's working with you know go down from uh, 1500 suppliers in 2001 maybe go down to 80 suppliers or even 50 suppliers or maybe only 10 suppliers you know this is something about efficiency it's about consolidation um, and this is what the automotive industry does at, at the moment as well and that's what what companies do in, in, in security or let's say in, in IT uh, try to reduce the number of vendors um, um, and, and this is what we're we'll doing and it has to do with uh, tos, total cost of ownership and also uh, return of investment you know we have one thing is cost and the other one is return of investment that means um, it comes to a point where security is one point but it comes down to the fact that the security has to be run efficiently in a very uh, cost specific way so and that you can do it with limiting the amount of of supplies you have in the security space. So can also small small companies get this or, or is it just high any, end stuff? Like any company. Um, can they afford it? It's, it's, of course. I mean, this is um, if um, um, if you only take the, the software aspect. I mean, we have a lot of um, high end hardware um, um, boxes, which uh, sometimes um, um, a gigantic uh, throughput. Um, these boxes can do 10 gig. Um, and of course that hardware is, uh, is pretty much expensive but you won't find a company uh, that installs this piece of, of hardware in a 50 user network but if you say if you just only take the software piece um, you get all this what I just mentioned from AV, spam, uh, host intrusion, intrusion prevention, um, uh, encryption, um, device control uh, you can get that for uh, 40 euros um, if you're a mid-sized company a year um, so it's very flexible. It's very flexible. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Depending it's on the company, console. yeah. But you know, you say let's say 40 bucks, uh, 40 euros for for a mid-sized company. Let's say 500 users. But only if you say if I say 100 users, you pay a little bit more, um, maybe 50 euros. But you get the whole the whole McAfee so software portfolio. So 50 times 50 is 2,500. Um, compared to the amount you save if you can prevent you from going home with a new USB stick full of company uh, data, full of production plans, full of customer information, 2,500 uh, euros is the cheapest insurance you will ever get in your whole life out of McAfee. Yeah, I think this was, this was it. So, so, I mean, just in, in general, I mean, this is very important for us. We're not just simple AV, we do much more. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, like uh, yeah I mean, um, so, you know, the differentiation um, towards other companies, very simple. But your your question about consumer, the consumer um, is is not interested in, in you know reducing its cost. And consumer wants to have a product that works and detects viruses. And enterprise is much more. This is you know uh, an enterprise that wants to have a, an AV that detects viruses uh, that is cheap. Uh, that was probably uh, a customer demand ten years ago. Right now, a uh, customer demand is just, I need to be secure, I need to be in charge of my information. And that's what we do at Mac. Right, <laughs> right, you go. Take that message back to Finland and yeah. tell everyone you know, right? Yeah. You we go. will do that. Uh, Thank you. Go. Thank you. Thank you.